Hey, welcome everybody. This is Vijay from Dino Code Academy. So in this video, I'm just going to showcase my application that I have created by using Android Studio and SQLite as a database. So all the data of this quiz activity are coming from the SQLite database. So when I click on this play button, it will take us to the quiz activity where you can see the quiz screen. We have four options and the question is displayed here and we have a score and also we have a timer and the number of question and action bar in which is the name of the application display and we also have this confirm button so when i select the option then we need to click on the confirm but if i don't select the option and click the confirm then you can see it say the please select the answer you can see the timer is running if so if i select the personal computer and select then you can see it's actually showing the correct dialog so if i hit ok then unity is used for word it's used for game development if i click ok then you can see that's the correct one then ram stands for word it's actually a random access memory then correct now if i select the wronger one then you will see a wrong dialog appeared hit ok and if i select the operating system which is the correct one and now this is our last question so when the timer reaches to zero it will take us to the times up dialog so waiting for the times up so it's actually going into the 18 then 17 then 16 so this application is built by using sqli database and again saying it so all the data is coming from the SQLite database. Now you can see the timer is actually goes to zero, means red, and it's actually now going into zero. So it's become a zero. Then you can see a time step toast appear and also a game over dialog box. So if I click OK, then it will take us to the play activity. So these are the features of this app. And again, I'm going to click on this play button. So we are again inside the quiz activity. So if I click again play, then I'm just going to complete this quiz quickly. So I am selecting the all the longer ones. This is going to be the and this one is also. Now the quiz is finished. Now we cannot select anything inside the quiz activity. Now we are inside the result activity where it will display the high score and also the total questions correct and wrong answer. So high score I have not displayed here. You can do it by yourself. It's very easy. You just need to pass the data to the intent. So this feature I am just going to leave it by up to you. And I will show you how to pass these three data like 4 to 6 value are coming from it. You can pass the high score by your own. So this feature I actually left it by yourself. So you can do it by yourself. Now you have here two options. You can click on this play again button to play the quiz again. And you also have a main menu. So if I click on this main menu, it will take us to the quiz activity. Then from there, if I double tap on this back button, then you can see a dialog box appear where it will ask you to exit the application do you want to exit so if i click no then it remains inside the quiz and if i again double tap the back button then if i click on yes then you can see the quiz activity exit means that our application gets closed so this is the application that we are going to build it throughout this series so this is just the introductory video so if you like this video then share it with your friends and if and if you are new to my channel then subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get a notification when i upload a new video thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video thank you